in the in the paper is this sort of incompletude theorem that, that we have. So any uh, system of induction which is complete is uncomputable, and any system which is computable is incomplete. Um, incomplete um, means that um, if we, in order to have um, a perfect calculation of the probability of an event, we would need to analyze all the possible predictive hypotheses that can match uh, the data. If we, if we had all the possible hypotheses and we could compare the probability, the algorithmic probability of all the hypotheses, then we could calculate the, um, the exact probability of an event. But it's not possible to have this completude. Um, because even though we had it, we wouldn't know it. We couldn't know it. Uh, it it's a sort of translation of uh, Godel incompletude theorem in, in algorithmic probability. So we cannot estimate the error because we actually don't know if we have the totality of a possible hypothesis or not. Um, so we can calculate the error when we have a, a induction system which is uh, complete, so um, which is incomplete, which means it, it is small. So we are just observing few predictive hypotheses, and then we can calculate um, the error given the hypothesis that we have. But it's not possible to calculate um, for an infinite number of hypotheses. And we cannot have perfect induction uh, if we don't have this totality of hypotheses that can match um, the data. Uh, so I think that the problem of calculation of error is, is just related to, to the impossibility of uh, basically comparing all the possible predictive hypotheses, uh, which are reasonable. Um, so if we don't have them, we cannot per perfectly calculate or estimate the, the, the error. So the, the practical way of solving the problem is a way of um, artificially restrict the conditions. So we have heuristic good solutions, even though we cannot compare all the possible hypotheses. But the, the effect is that um, it's always possible to find in the data new hypotheses. So um, the, the idea is that even we have a system which is um, finite in the sense that we are just comparing a limited number of hypotheses and it works, it does not exclude um, first the possibility that um, calculation goes on forever and doesn't stop. This is um, a problem of, of computability. And um, there are strings uh, which are not um, provable in the system. Uh, and there are uh, new hypotheses that can be found in the data. Um, so it, it's, uh, the, the problem is we, we are extending further and further. We are, we are, the, the learning process is a process of uh, find out more and more uh, hypotheses and try to extend. Um, but the idea is that it's not possible to have uh, a complete induction. So his idea, ideal is this complete induction. Um, of course, um, the idea is to pass from induction to deduction in the sense that um, it is the same uh, idea that we had in Carnap. No, in Carnap, it was possible to pass from a problem of induction to a problem of deduction in the sense of uh, proving the um, implication um, between uh, propositions. So if we had this 
language of, of science, it would be possible um, to prove all the analytical uh, proposition. Um, in Solomonov is the same thing. He would like to have this totality of possible predictive hypotheses in order to evaluate the prob algorithmic probability of different hypotheses in a perfect way, in a deductive way. The problem is that it's not possible to have the totality of a hypothesis to be compared. Um, and but it's it's really similar to the problem of that we that we find in um, in Badiou, not because of uh, the kind of philosophy, but because it's, it's just considering uh, this way of um, um, proposition that cannot be um, this incoherence um, in the system. So if the system is complete, it, it's it's not coherent. Uh, in the case of Solomonov, it, it's not computable. Thank <laughs> you.